guys, so I wanted to do a quick update to the previous video where I mentioned uh, about the usefulness of a male to female 2.5 millimeter stereo extension cord, which is one of these, and a male to male 2.5 millimeter stereo extension cord, which is one of these. You can find these in a, a lot of different lengths off eBay or stereo stores. But they're really handy with this wireless trigger if what you want to do is a laser beam trigger, which is what I have set up here. We have the laser sender over here, which is pointed towards the Pluto trigger, which is here. And when you look at my phone, you'll see this outer yellow or orangey beam. <clears throat> That's effectively the laser hitting the sensor and being digitized into an amount. So when I put my hand through that, you'll see it goes. So in this example, you may have it set up on a path and when wildlife crosses that path, it would take a photo. So that'll work right now without any of these extension cables and you could use it as is with the camera trigger that you would normally have. So. Uh, the camera trigger cable that is sorry so example here is I might have my Nikon um, connected to this when an animal crosses a beam the camera would take a photo you can see there's two potential issues with that straight away number one this cord is really short so if you want the camera to be away from the wireless trigger so if you wanted it to be much further apart um, it's not going to reach so that's where the male to female uh, extension cable comes in. Really all you would do then, and you can get these off eBay pretty easily and cheaply, is you would run that into your camera and your wireless trigger. So now uh, these cords can go anywhere from one to 10 meters from memory. So you could have your camera 10 meters away. When the beam is broken, it would then trigger the camera, which may be way down here and take a photo. So the second part to that is the male to male. And what you may have noticed in this mode is that the laser is always on. So one of the side effects is if your camera took a photo, there would be a laser on the animal potentially, depending on which direction. Um, sometimes that's okay, but sometimes you don't want that. So that's where this male to male trigger comes in at camera extension cable, sorry, or stereo extension cable. At the moment, the laser beam is turned on. It sends a beam to the Pluto wireless trigger and that would work in laser mode. For the male to male extension cord, what you want to do is you want to turn your Pluto laser off. And on the side of it, you'll notice, sorry, the back, you'll notice that there's a 2.5 millimeter stereo uh, female socket. So you plug your extension into that. And then on the other side, you plug it into the accessory port of the Pluto wireless trigger. And what you'll notice is that the laser is now on, even though the power is off. So then you just, again, realign your laser with the Pluto trigger. This can take a little bit of fiddling, but now you'll notice that we're almost there. Um, you'll notice now that when you look at the beam and the intensity on the phone that it's now being detected. So if you had your camera set up, when this is triggered, we should turn it on first, we start that mode, so now that's running. When it's triggered, the laser's turned off. It'll do a countdown, and then it'll turn it back on. So now, if an animal walks through the beam, it will be triggered, uh, and it'll turn the laser off. So you need to make sure that the uh, direction is fine and all of these things, obviously. But it's just another handy way to be able to use this so that you don't have a laser 
uh, dot effectively within the picture that you're taking. So again, a male to male cord from the female socket of the laser sender across to the accessory socket of the Pluto wireless trigger. And once your phone is on, if that beam is broken, it will actually turn it off. It will start a countdown, which will then reactivate the laser afterwards. Uh, the, when you look in front on to the Pluto trigger, the far left is the laser and light sensor. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, keep tuning in to future videos where I can hopefully show you a few other things. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.